Nation presents Between the Lines. Libby Sugg has 35 career home runs, and just in this short 10-game season, she already has four. But what really makes the softball catcher unique is her witty personality and hidden talents. First things first, what's your favorite lunch food? My mom's spaghetti. It doesn't matter if it's cold, it doesn't matter if it's warm, it's my favorite. <laughs> okay, well we have something very similar. It's a half turkey Swiss on wheat. Oh, that's tempting. You're junior this year, catcher on the team, you've been around a few years. What's the hardest thing about being a catcher? I guess is keeping your composure, which is staying positive and being like, it's okay, we're down by 13, but we'll be <laughs> fine. What's the hardest drill that you do? Blocking. Blocking is still something that doesn't come easy to me, so I'm grateful for my pitchers who don't throw in the dirt often. All right, let me show me how to block. Okay. So, pitcher's coming yep. in the dirt. Ugh. And that's a block. So you look really good at it to me. It's easy when you know the pitch is going to come in the dirt. It's when it you don't know Surprising. that you look a little funny when you just kind of scoop it. That was special. Yeah, oh, okay. Try. Okay. Okay, so that's the hardest drill that you do. What's the most rewarding thing about being a catcher? Throwing someone out is pretty, pretty awesome. When they think that they're going to steal a base on you mm -hmm. and then they're going to be in scoring position, you throw them out and you're like, gotcha. And you're like, have you seen this? Yeah, Arm? did you see this in the inning before? Because I don't think you did. <laughs> okay, we're gonna switch gears here. We're gonna play a little game. I'm gonna say a word, and you have to say the first thing that comes to your head. Oh no, okay. okay. Animal. Kingdom. Kingdom? <laughs> Why kingdom? Uh, yeah, that's what it Disney <laughs> World. <laughs> Hobby. Lobby. <laughs> it's my favorite store, I'm not gonna lie. Softball. Party. Ah, uh, yeah. I really don't know where that one came from. <laughs> Last one, Coach Eakin. Eakinator. <laughs> Is that what you guys call him? Mm -hmm. The Eakinator. And he's okay with that. I don't know if he knows. Okay, so enough about softball. What is one of your hidden talents? I'm pretty good at drawing. I'll give myself that. Really? Yeah. Usually I turn things into like a cartoon, so if someone's like, hey, draw me of my face, I'll like, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a cartoon face, but like, I'm pretty decent at drawing. So. At a karaoke night with the entire softball team. I don't know. Has this happened before? Yes. It has. Well, we do like headphone karaoke. So like one of the first tournaments, you're like on the bus and you've got the headphones in and then you have to sing, but you can't hear yourself sing, so you don't know what pitch you're so in. So everyone's just making fun of you. Yep. What's your song of choice on karaoke night? Last time I was chosen to sing Hello by Adele. I was wondering. And it was terrible. My voice cracked at the peak of hello. See, most Mormons have like really good angelic voices. <laughs> Not this one. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> Let, let's hear just a little, just the first. Oh, hello. It goes, hello. Okay, we're gonna play one more game. Okay. Two truths and a lie, which you've probably played before, right? I have. Okay, I've got it. Okay. Okay, I've ridden an elephant. Okay. I used to play shortstop growing up, and I hit my first softball home run at 11. Ooh. I'm gonna say you did not play shortstop. Dang it! Was that it? Yes! <laughs> yeah. What? Really? No, yeah, no, I never played there. So one more time, one more two truths and a lie. Okay. <laughs> I have never had a boyfriend before my fiance. I love country music, and I have two older brothers. So I'm gonna go with you have two brothers is the lie. No, that's the truth. Dang it. Button oh, Ben. Um, I love country music. Right, you really don't like country? I really don't like it. All right, well that, that concludes our lunch with Lauren. What we do now is you have to rate it on a scale from one to 10, your lunch with Lauren. Oh, 10, duh. I, right. I can put it on Yahoo, I can put it on <laughs> Google Answers. Lunch with Lauren is a 10 out of 10. Okay, awesome. Thanks everybody, and thank you, Libby. Yeah. We had to end the interview a little early since she doesn't like country music, but nonetheless, Libby is fantastic, and good luck to the women's softball team during this season. Next week, we're doing Blast from the Past, with gymnastics coach Gard Young, we're going to see how the former Olympian can do in his other events. Is Admit it, because you are a country-style singer, and a good one at that, you were a little offended that she said she didn't like I was music. offended because she lives like 20 minutes from Nashville, Tennessee. Yes, The heart shocking. of country music, which is fantastic. And yes, I do love country. Lauren, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, guys. Yeah. 23 years old. 23! 23. Can you believe Amazing. that? Amazing! <laughs> yes, I mean, my goodness, guys, 23. Speaking it's of two truths and a lie, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's a hard age to swallow, but it's going to be a good year. 23, yeah. I can't Way believe you're a senior at BYU. Yeah.
Wow. Crazy. Almost graduated. Learned, learned not a student. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for that. Thanks, Lauren. Happy Thank birthday. Happy birthday. Appreciate Blow up her Twitter, people. <laughs> Blow it up. Tweet your birthday wishes. Have fun responding to all of those. I will. I will respond to every single one. Oh, snap. So there's that. Wait, if you're... If you're 23, are you Lauren Frankham still then? Or are you Lauren <laughs> McLean? I, I don't know. Getting yeah, married to BYU is super normal. What are yeah, you talking about? Truth. You were married now that's by a like truth. Now that's a truth. That's a truth. Yeah. That is a truth. That is yeah. truth. Thank Bye-bye you, Lauren. Thanks, Lauren.